So, on to my next guest. My next guest being uh, this guy uh, that uh, we talked about uh, the, the other day. You can see a picture of the universe there. There's a bit of the universe there because we're going to have something really spaced out, you know, believe me. I'll just about put something that will uh, just give us a little noise so that I can have something there. Okay. Uh, let me just turn that down a little bit for you. There you go. There you go. Just turn it down a little bit. Now, this guy, Joseph. Now, somebody did write on Facebook that I didn't pronounce the name properly. Most probably, I did not pronounce the name properly. Uh, because, I don't know, it has all these accents on it and things like that. I, I'm not really all that uh, good at foreign names. Especially when, when they do have accents and things like that, you know, like they could be Spanish or, I don't know, Brazilian or something, or even French, you know, I'm not very good at saying French stuff either. Anyway, this guy is Joseph, or Joseph, I don't know, Scratch, I mean, I, it's, how do you pronounce that? But, I'll just call him Joseph, and then when I get to know the guy real good, I'll call him Joe, my sure. <laughs> but... Three, four days ago, we played a, a nice piece. Uh, he did a great solo on a, on a mini Moog. I haven't seen one of those since the uh, late 60s. Yeah, late 60s, mini Moog. For those musicians that are interested uh, in... Uh, this is what this is, a musician's uh, um, show, the Fatsa Fatsa, and it could be really any other show as well that you want it to be. Now, he played a great solo on that one. I went for about, like, five minutes. And I could tell you, if... Um, if John Lord was uh, kicking around uh, Deep Purple, he would have grabbed the guy or, or even picked Floyd. I mean, that was amazing. So amazing that yesterday we actually played another symphonic track from this guy, Joseph. Uh, a very nice piece from uh, a movie, which if I go to, uh, to get the info from here, it says it's a soundtrack from the movie Rose Room. Now, Rose Room, if you, if you look at the video that we did yesterday, Rose, uh, Rose Room, it, it, it's a kind of a double meaning that I figured it out. Uh, because uh, there's, a, there's a row in the room, you know, animal, and there's a, there's a guy in the room. Anyway, the piece was very moving. It's something that we don't normally play. But, as the jingle says, and as we will say it, and then I'll kick off with this one, which is called The Universe, it goes for quite a while, so be patient with it. But it's a beautiful piece of music. And because it is a beautiful piece of music, I will actually, yes, I will actually stop it there. And I will uh, start it from the beginning. Okay, straight after this jingle, we'll go into Joseph and Universe. All from the Fatsa Fatsa show. Every week we play a <laughs> bigger variety of tunes.
Absolutely beautiful. Very, very nice piece there by Joseph. And uh, there are no words. It's beautiful. Space, the universe, whatever he felt, came all through his fingers and his soul. That was a nice piece of music, that is. Um, ten minutes long, actually. Ten minutes long. If you close your eyes, in, in a way, you know, you you could somehow you know, relate to, uh, hey, uh, I could listen to Shine On Your Crazy Diamond or something like that. But it's nice to hear the, the moog in there and uh, the sounds that just, you know, the, the loopy sounds of the Korg and so on and so forth. Absolutely wonderful.